Hi everyone, this is Cha again of Cypress Learning and in this video, I am going to show you how to set up the Omni Channel. But before that, allow me to provide you a short overview of what Omni Channel is. Omni Channel is a flexible, customizable feature and you can configure it declaratively, that is, without writing a code. So what we can do with Omnichannel? You can use the Omnichannel to manage the priority of work items, which make it a cinch to route important work items to the agents quickly. You can manage your agent's capacity to take on work items so that they're given only the number of assignments that they can handle. And lastly, you can also define which agents can work on the different types of assignments. Omnichannel routes work requests to the most available and qualified support agents. Agents may no longer have to pick and choose work assignments manually from the queue, which sometimes results for some high-priority work items to be left unattended. This will save everyone's time, effort, and brain power. Because it's easier for the supports to work on their assignments, they can assist your customer faster, more effectively, and close assignments more quickly. Sounds good? Now, let's jump to Salesforce. First, you may want to enable the service setup assistant by clicking this gear icon at the top right corner of the page. Then select Setup. Right below the Setup Home, select the Service Setup Assistant. This is an overview of Service Setup Assistant. Check this Add Sample Service Data if you want to have a starter pack of sample data, including cases, flow recommendations, and quick text. However, if you want to start from the scratch, you can just uncheck this box. Then, enable the Service Setup Assistant by toggling this button. This will take a few moments to install. You can also check the status by clicking this button. There you go, it's now ready. Just click Get Started. Since I've already enabled the email to case on my previous video, adding the support email is now tagged as completed. If you have the names of your team members, you can click this Add Users button and enter all of your team members' name and email address. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click Complete. then it will prompt you that you have successfully enabled the Service Console app. Now, to set up the Omni Channel, hover your mouse to the right side of the page and click this View All button. Then on the search bar, type Omni Channel. Click Omni Channel Setup. This is again an overview of Omni Channel. You can just go ahead and click Start. On this right box, I'm going to name the queue Support. And for the name of the support, I'm going to say Email Support. For now, and I'm going to add myself as an agent. Yes, and click next. Now for the priority, I'm going to label it one. First priority. There you go. Click next. 
for your agent's workload, you can adjust depending on your requirements. But for this video, I'm going to leave it as this. Then click Next. Omni Channel is ready to go in your console. Now let's check. Click Finish. Let's go to Service Setup Console by clicking this App Launcher button. Then type Service Setup Console. There you go. There it is. The Omni Channel widget is now showing at the left bottom corner of the page. Now that we have set up the Omni Channel, let's do some testing. Let's use the email to case that I have set up on my previous video. But first, let me change its settings first because it was set up to be directly routed to a user's name and not on the queue that we have recently created. To do that, let's go back to set up page. Then go to email to case. On the routing address, click edit. Choose Q on the case owner. Then select the queue that we have recently created, which is the support. I'm also going to change the priority to high, then hit save. Now let's try if it's working. I'm going to open an email box, then send an email to the email support that I have set up. On the subject line, I'm going to say test omni channel. On the email body, I'm going to say this is just a test. Then hit send. Now let's go back to Salesforce. Go to cases. All open cases. As you can see, we have received the test email. Now I'm going to open the Omni channel. Once the agent changed its status to online and accept the case that will appear here, this test email will be automatically assigned to that user. I'm going to change the status to available case and this case number should appear here. going to accept the case. It transferred to my work tab and the case was assigned under my name. There you have it. Thank you for watching. See you again on my next video.